What's up, everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Roundhouse FM. So today is the day we're going to be doing our prediction. But before we do the prediction, I'm going to do a full pre-fight breakdown. What are some things that I'm seeing? What are some important aspects of this fight that each fighter is going to bring to the ring? And who eventually, at the end of this video, I'll tell you who's really going to win this fight of Canelo versus Caleb Plant. Now, first things first, if you guys haven't seen the last video where we compare their training footage, check that one out. We go into a little bit of detail about some things I'm seeing into this fight, but I wanted to go into greater detail right now and display aspects of how I think which fighter is going to win and how I think both fighters are going to have good moments within the fight and et cetera, et cetera. So guys, let's first talk about Caleb Plant's stance. So Caleb Plant traditionally does not hold a high guard. He holds a more Floyd Mayweather-esque shoulder roll and Philly Shell style guard. He doesn't do it exactly like Floyd does. He has a little bit of a twist on it in his own way, but it does provide him some advantages and disadvantages against a guy like Canelo Alvarez. A great part is Caleb Plant is a footwork oriented boxer, right? And he's really gonna try to use that to prevent Canelo from being able to hit him. And we've seen in the past that Canelo targets the body against fighters that really aim to use their footwork as their main form of defense. He does this to slow them down. He does this because the body's a bigger target. And he does this because he is able to damage them significantly throughout the course of the fight to slow them down, sap their energy, and then knock them out at the end of the round. But Caleb Plant's Philly Shell, the way he holds his hands, allows him to sort of have a much better natural defense against the body shot than perhaps a high guard or a full traditional boxing guard would have. Canelo's advantage here, though, is that we've seen lately, specifically in the Rocky Fielding fight, Canelo's totally willing to target the arms of Caleb Plant. So how this could work to Canelo's benefit is Caleb doesn't really have a super hard right hand. It's not really what he uses. His biggest punch is his left hook, undoubtedly, right? So he's going to be using his left arm to guard the body, and he's going to be trying to land his most effective shots with his left arm as well right so if canelo targets that left arm he could damage it he could hurt it he could you know smash it and beat it up and bruise it and really prevent caleb from even being able to use his best tool even if caleb is able to defend the body shots canelo could target the arm and damage that damaging caleb's ability to accurately attack canelo alvarez let's talk about canelo's ring dominance versus caleb plant's ability to cut angles right Obviously, Canelo was traditionally considered a flat-footed fighter. I think he's sort of bypassed that now. I think he's really developed his footwork into being the pound-for-pound, pound, right? Obviously, it's still not his trademark. It's still not his best thing. We see that Canelo uses his hips, his head movement, and his guard really to use his defense, less so the footwork. But we saw it against Billy Joe Saunders, man. Canelo's footwork is still world-class. He's still completely able to control his angles, create good positioning, move in and out quickly, but really he's gonna use forward pressure and momentum and ring dominance to try to control the ring. That's obviously his main form of attack, his main game plan. On the contrary, Caleb's a great opponent and this is a great stylistic matchup because Caleb's best bet is to create and cut angles and use his footwork to dance around the ring, right? So we're really gonna see a Matador versus the Bull style fight right here, right? Now, Canelo really effectively was able to break down Billy Joe Saunders with body shots, able to time his head movement and cut off the ring. So that's going to be a question that Caleb Plant has to try to answer. Against Jose guy. Caleb Plant showed great ability to cut angles, create angles, and land effective shots from those angles, right? Incredibly so. He did really, really well at that. Is Canelo going to be able to handle Caleb's ability to do that, right? Is Caleb going to be able to make those angles on a guy like Canelo Alvarez? That's the question. I think Canelo's big looping body hooks are really going to cause problems for Caleb in his ability to create those angles. So I think Canelo's going to win here and be able to shut that down. Next is power, right? Caleb Plant really has shown over the course of his career that he's not some super powerful guy. Against Mike Lee, he landed some great knockdowns, but I think that was really because the timing wasn't there. Mike Lee's ability to defend himself wasn't really there. Jose, he landed a couple knockdowns as we previously touched on, but really against a guy like Canelo, I doubt he's gonna be able to land any clean knockdowns or really do significant damage to Canelo. It would really be tough for him to get that damage in there. On the contrary, Canelo is obviously going to be looking for the power punches, guys. Obviously, Canelo is the power puncher here, whereas Caleb Plant is more of the boxer here, right? So the question is, can Canelo land those big punches on Caleb Plant? Because I think that if Canelo can, he can really do some damage. But if Caleb's able to defend himself appropriately, 
Caleb should be landing more shots throughout the course of the fight, looking at it in traditional boxing knowledge, right? So are the judges going to value Caleb Plant's more peppery, consistent shots or Canelo's big power shots that we're going to see? I think that Canelo is going to be able to land these big power shots. I'm just going to be honest. Plant's left hooks versus Canelo's straight right. So Caleb Plant is going to throw big left, looping left hooks. That's what he's going to try to time it consistently. Unfortunately, Caleb Plant comes in with a naked left hook all the time, right? So he just jumps in with his left hook. And I think that Canelo is going to be able to time that with a right hand. And a right hand down the pipe will always beat a left hook looping around, right? And we might see an Amir Khan-esque knockout if Ke if Canelo is able to land that punch frame. And the last big point I wanted to touch on guys is Plant's cardio versus Canelo's cardio and the durability of both fighters. I think the durability sort of cancels itself out. I think that Caleb Plant's going to show that he's a great durable fighter. Canelo has obviously proved time and time again that he's a great, incredibly durable fighter. Realistically, durability doesn't mean that you can take Canelo's shots, right? C C Canelo's fought really durable guys and been able to knock them out. So even if Caleb's great and durable, Canelo's still Still absolutely going to be able to get him out of there for sure for sure but more important than durability really is cardio and cardio really isn't about who's going to be in more shape or who's in better shape this fight i think both guys are going to be coming in in great shape and great conditioning it's going to be really about how is canelo going to be able to sap caleb plant's cardio how is Caleb going to be able to make Canelo chase him and potentially sap Canelo's cardio, right? When we look at that, is Caleb going to be able to move enough and create enough angles and land enough body shots to sap Canelo's cardio to maybe slow him down a bit? Or is Canelo going to do his traditional style of push Caleb on the back foot, which is exhausting, land big shot body shots, which is exhausting, and force Caleb to run essentially the whole fight, which is also exhausting, right? Can Canelo exhaust Caleb or can Caleb exhaust Canelo? Now let's talk about who I think is going to win, guys. Frankly, in all of these comparisons, I just see Canelo coming out on top. I see that Canelo's got the bigger shots, and he's going to land them. I see that Canelo's got the better ring dominance, and he's going to be able to cut Caleb off and cause Caleb to really be exhausted by essentially having to run the entire time. I don't see Caleb being able to get Canelo's respect. I don't see Caleb being able to make Canelo worried about the shots that are coming back at him. And I see Canelo just sort of marching him down like he did against Kovalev, like he did against Callum Smith, right? Like he did against all these other great world-class caliber fighters, right? They just weren't able to... It's not that they didn't have the power to keep Canelo off. It's that anytime they try to throw the power punches, Canelo is able to slip and counter them and punish them for that. So they can't even really dedicate and dig down on these shots do i think caleb's gonna show up and you know fight absolutely man caleb is gonna take the risks that he needs it's just i just don't know if it's gonna be enough right i see canelo as caleb's floyd i saw a lot of you guys comment that in my last video and i really agree with that statement honestly i think that caleb's gonna have a long and great career i just don't think that canelo is gonna be able to be bested by him at this point in his career man. canelo's right at the peak the only hope Caleb has really is getting into Canelo's head enough to sway his emotional stoicism that he usually brings into these fights, right? Let me know, guys, what your opinion is in the comments. Who do you think is going to win this fight? Take it easy. Thanks so much. This is Round Five.